Okay, great stuff. Um, listen, first of all, Bernadette, thanks for talking to us this morning on the programme about this. Now, this comes from, from I suppose, yourself and, and others in the community. Uh, it's been raised by Fianna Fáil Councillor Johnny Wall, who's made the call at the recent meeting of Kerry County Council, that South Dock is being asked to set up a tech service in Kerry to cater for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Can you talk to me a bit about, I suppose, about the difficulties that are there at present in relation to trying to access the service for people who are hearing impaired? Right, OK. Um, so I'm just going to give you a recent example. Um, I pulled my shoulder and I needed to call South Dock. So what I did was I used the Irish Remote Interpreting Service. Now, they are a relay service, so I can make the phone call, but there's no call back. But this was with South Dock. I wanted to make an appointment to see the doctor. Now, the doctor said they would call back but there was no call back to the interpreting service. They wanted to ring me, but I couldn't hear the phone, obviously. Sure. Um, normally, normally, you know that the call back will be within five to 10 minutes, but there was a call back that made, that was happened. I explained the problem that I had, but then uh, it was talking about, well, how about I go into South Dock? But they were saying, but there's the COVID restrictions. So you can imagine all of these things. And then going in, the problem is I would prefer to be able to text the service, but South Dock saying that they don't have it, but there's Care Dock and Ned Dock. They do already have a tech service. So why can't South do the same? Why can't that tech service be available anywhere? In Northern Ireland, um, because of COVID, they set up um, a video service so why can't we do the same here? So why are there those kind of delays? Now, I had a conversation with Johnny Wall, and obviously it's full steam ahead now. Yeah, yeah, and that's good. Just, just on that side of it, can you describe for me, like, so what happened on that incident was you were told you'd get a call back, but it didn't come to the interpreting service, which you would need. So it was a phone ringing, and you obviously you couldn't hear it, and, and that therein lies an initial problem. And then is there another step to it, which South Dock might need to do, when you do go in, do you have an interpreter with you or can the doctor see you and communicate that way? Is that part of the issue? Now, normally, any time I go to South Dock, it's pen and paper. But right. the issue was around about making a phone call to make an appointment. Now, okay. often I don't. Now, you can have an interpreter going to the doctor. My preference is not to have an interpreter. The issue was around being able to, to make the phone call. That was the issue. Right. OK. And, and like with, with that, having an interpreter, if you are to go down the road, this can happen at two o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning for a person who is who's deaf or, or hearing impaired. And you can't always get an interpreter to be there on scene. So it by nature, it can be an emergency, which means time is of the essence. So it has to be pen and paper. So the call is the crucial thing. And would the text service then solve that problem? Well, yes, definitely, because um, the other counties are doing it. There's a tech service that's already there in other counties. What I want is for something to happen for us in Kerry and Cork, because South Dock covers Cork and Kerry. So I would like that tech service for us, the deaf community in Cork and Kerry. Okay, and, and that would work like South Dock would, would then know, or once you inform them, um, well, this person is hearing impaired, they'll need the tech service, they'd be able to operate that, they'd have a register, or else they just they have a system set up whereby they can maybe learn from the other services as, as to how they do it and implement that here. Now, I had a conversation with Johnny Wall, and within that form, I said that you would need to register first, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I would put in my details. So once I text it, they will already have my details in advance, so they will already know that I'm deaf. So then it's only a case that I can text to make an appointment or text to say, this is the problem that I have. Obviously, you would have to register first. Yeah, and that would that would help South Dock then know who they're dealing with and what their 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 needs are. It strikes me this is a on one level uh, you would imagine it's a small thing to fix, but it's a huge thing in the lives of people who are deaf. That same 
quick access to be easily understood by an emergency service that you're calling. That would be right. Now, I used Irish for the first time, but in advance, but before that, my children would be responsible for phone calls. They should not be responsible for making phone calls. So the question comes, like, who should be? Now, I prefer to do things on my own. I prefer to do my own text message. I yeah. prefer to make my own phone calls because I am independent. Yeah, and it's about independence, isn't it? And if you are a person who's living alone, you don't have children, you're deaf, then you'll need it to be independent, not just about what you want or what your rights are. It'll be vital that you have access to this. That would be right, yeah. Okay, so look, what are you hoping happens here out of what Councillor Johnny Wall has said? He made the call at Kerry County Council. Positive feedback, I suppose, from, from South Dock that they will work on getting this service up and running? Now, it has been proposed, so the hope is that it will happen. But Johnny Wall said it will, but the question of is when, hopefully soon. Now, again, it will have to be said, it's going to be great for the deaf community. Mm. But also, it's that it comes around all of Ireland because some services do, some services don't. Now, for example, the Irish Sign Language Act was passed in 2017. Nothing has happened in Kerry yet. So I had met Johnny Wall during the Irish Sign Language Week and just gave him an example of the experience that I had with Sound Duck. So thanks to him, he got the ball rolling on it. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but the, the way that he responded so quickly to what it is that I had to say, I appreciate it. So, so hopefully the others will do the same. Yeah, and it's, it's by raising issues like this that you know those parts of the act that need to be implemented and followed through on by organisations will actually eventually happen. I definitely hope so for sure. Yeah, because we're now living in the we're now living in the age of 2021. Yeah, yeah, it should be it should be high time that things like this should be done. Finally, Bernard, how do you deal with other emergency services? Do they have systems set up when you call 112 or 999 for a person who's deaf? Is is that also an issue, or do they have do they have provisions in place? Okay, so everybody knows 999. There is a service called 112, which is the text service. But for me, the question is, okay, so let's take, for example, 112, you have to register. So deaf people have to register for the emergency service. So it's more work for us as deaf people. A hearing person can call 999 without having to register. So why do we have to do that to access an emergency service? So that's the question is. But at the same time, I'm going to give you an example. Recently, a deaf person uh, is local and had um, a situation with her mother but was in a different county so she was using the tech service and it ended up being a one hour so in the end she had to call her hearing sister to call the emergency service to bring her mother to the hospital so look at the effectiveness or the non-effectiveness of the 112 service so there's a big question back around it so is it good? Is it bad? But I do know that the Irish Deaf Society are trying to make the emergency service 112 to make it easier for deaf people to access. OK, and hopefully that happens as well. Well, listen, look, thanks so much for talking to us about it and raising the issue with us here on Kerry today. And hopefully it leads to, to change for deaf people in the county when accessing emergency services in general and South Dock in particular. This is great. And thank you. OK, brilliant. Listen, that's fantastic. Um, both Catherine and Bernadette.